We're thrilled to announce a new software update for the multifunctional timer version 8. The latest update introduces a multi-trigger capability to the timer V8 and enhances the precision of timing for brief intervals down to one hundredth of a second. It also incorporates advanced trigger logic, adds the option to abort operations using a secondary trigger, and sets a trigger time threshold, all of which facilitate the development of more complex logical operations. Let's explore how to utilize the dual triggers. The timer is equipped with two input triggers, blue and green, as illustrated in the diagram. To effectively employ both triggers, you need to configure the blue and green triggers according to your desired settings. For instance, assign the trigger to 2 for activation through positive voltage or to 4 to activate when the voltage drops to zero. Next, determine the logical function for the triggers. You have six modes to choose from, blue only, green only, logical and, or, and XOR. The sixth mode is designed to initiate the function with the blue trigger and cancel it with the green trigger. Let's explore the trigger modes. The blue only and green only modes are straightforward. We'll focus on the end mode. In this mode, the timer evaluates the input voltage from both triggers and determines the final trigger. For the end condition to be met and the final trigger to be activated, both the blue and green triggers must be active, as depicted in the diagram. It's important to mention that the configuration of blue and green triggers is independent of each other, hence, blue can be set to be active with the presence of voltage, while green can be set to be active when the voltage is removed. Using the logical OR, the final trigger will activate, if either the blue or green trigger is active. With the logical XOR, also known as exclusive OR, the final trigger will activate only when one of the triggers, either blue or green, is active, but not both. Let's examine the blue main, green cancel mode. In this setting, initiating the function is controlled by the blue trigger, while the green trigger, once activated, terminates the operation. Another thrilling addition is the trigger threshold. This feature sets the required time a trigger must be continuously active for the timer to register it. For instance, in this case, the blue trigger needs to detect voltage for a minimum of one second before it will activate the corresponding function. As previously noted, short durations can now be set with the finer gradation of one hundredth of a second. Let's cover another crucial subject, upgrading your timer to leverage the newly introduced features. To upgrade the timer with the new functionality, navigate to the Programmer's Update section, which can be located in the Timer's Manual or on the Timer's Shop website. Download the instructions that will guide you through the process of updating the programmer first, followed by the timer. We trust that the newly added features will empower you to discover innovative uses for the timer. For updates on new features and functionalities, consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video to help it reach more viewers.